Sample final number 17 from your Chem 110B sample final sheet. Okay, if 95.10 grams of aluminum chloride are reacted with 59 grams of sulfuric acid, H2SO4, how many grams of the aluminum sulfate are formed? So we've got 95.10 grams of this, we've got 59 grams of this, and they want to know how many grams of that. Since we have that reaction, and we've got some amount of both reactants, that means it's a limiting reagent problem, and your job is to figure out which is the limiting reagent. If you remember the way we've done these problems during this section, it was pretty simple. We just went through, tried to solve for how much product would be made if all of this reacted, and then do a separate calculation, how much product would be formed if all of this reacted, and then simply choose the correct one after that. So let's look at it. 95.10 grams of the aluminum chloride. Convert to moles first, right? That's using the periodic table. And you look up aluminum chloride, that's 133.34 grams off the periodic table. Once we're there, that's the moles. Now we can do the mole to mole ratio, which says one mole of the aluminum sulfate for every two moles of the aluminum chloride. Once we're at moles of aluminum chloride, all we need is the molar mass of the aluminum chloride. And that's 346.96 grams per every one mole. I think it's 346, isn't it? Yep. No, I'm sorry, 341.96. I hardly read my notes. Right, this is off the periodic table. This is the mole to mole ratio. And you get a value. What is that value? Well, let's calculate 95.1 divided by 133.34 divided by 2 times 341.96. And that to four sig figs is 121.9 grams possible. We're not sure yet because we have to check the other value to see if maybe that one's a limiting reagent. So let's see. So or 59 grams of sulfuric acid will react. How many moles is that? You have to divide by the molar mass, which is 98.10 grams. That's off the periodic table as well. Then we do the molar -mole ratio step, which is a 1 to 3 ratio. Okay, molar -mole ratio step. Once we're at moles, we use the same molar mass because it's the same stuff. The periodic table step. Oh my gosh, how many times are we going to do that in our lifetime in this class? We end up with 68 grams possible. What's the correct answer? You have to make the decision of the smaller number. And because this had two sig figs, final answer has two. This had four. The final answer is four. And we used this because this was a test calculation that we did not use. That's the right answer. Okay? So, when you're looking at that kind of problem and you need more practice, go to your Chem 10A sample final and final exams. Or you can look at Chapter 10 type problems or also Chapter 7 exercises 7H and I. Okay, have at it. Good luck.